The case of a young Brazilian farmer, Antonio Villas Boas, took place in 1957, four years before Betty and Barney Hill had their encounter. Antonio Villas Boas was uh, a farmer, uh, and basically, uh, it's uh, chronologically speaking, would be the first abduction case. He claimed he saw an object come down out of the sky and land nearby. He reported that he was taken, captured by these two aliens that landed near his tractor. Diaz Boas was taken inside the craft and his clothes were taken from him. He was put in a chamber that filled up with a gas that made him sick. Most believe the gas was some sort of disinfectant. A naked female alien entered the chamber and she and V.S. Boas had sexual relations, even reporting that he was bit on the chin. He was then dropped off back in the field with his tractor and the UFO took off. V.S. Boas soon began to notice strange marks and burns on his body. He was examined by Olavo T. Fontes, a professor at the National School of Medicine. Fontes was a pioneer in Brazilian ufology and a well-connected man with ties to the Brazilian government and military. Fontes diagnosed V.S. Boas with radiation poisoning and declared that he was a good case, a case with merit. Antonio Villas Boas' claims of abduction are further supported that he never sought fame or tried to capitalize on his experience. In fact, the case wasn't even written or published until several years after. And he later um, actually became a lawyer and um, went to Brasilia and never profited from his uh, UFO experience. He eventually died of a very strange disease, and we never did know exactly what, but we do know he came to the United States and was tested at one of the medical universities in California. And after that, it wasn't too long before he passed away. 